Hello again, everyone. My name is Fenton Mullen. I'm the Executive Director of the Ulster Historical Foundation. And in this presentation, we will be exploring the subject of census substitutes and other important sources for the 18th and 19th century. Now, in relation to this presentation, I would like to make a recommendation of three publications which you will find very useful, not only on this subject, but on a wide range of collections and sources available for Irish family history research. And taking them from left to right, um, we have Research in Scots Irish Ancestors in its second edition. It just came out uh, previous year. Um, this is by our research director, Dr. William Rolston, and it is a superb piece of work. It's a peerless title for anyone studying ancestors in the nine counties of the northern province of Ulster. And despite the title referring to Scots Irish, if you have, <clears throat> pardon me, if you have Presbyterian, Anglican, Catholic, Methodist, Baptist ancestors, it doesn't matter. If your ancestors are from the nine counties of Ulster, then this is the book for you. And it has superbly detailed appendices, which makes it so useful for uh, the census substitute presentation, giving information on sources right down to the parish level for every parish in Ulster that has material in the period prior to 1800. The middle publication, Tracing Your Irish Ancestors, is by John Grenham, and it's a standard work of reference. John's probably one of the best known authors on this subject, and this edition is now the fifth version of his Tracing Your Irish Ancestors. Unlike William's book, John's book is extremely useful because of the long list of information he provides by county. So, for example, in terms of census substitute material, you will be able to explore both Grenham and Rolston from that point of view. And a third, which complements them both very nicely in gain, is by Chris Patton. Chris is a northern genealogist from uh, no, uh, Northern Ireland, but works in Scotland and has extensive experience. And his Tracing Your Irish Family History on the Internet is a particularly useful book, also known its second edition, because it draws attention to the much lesser known sources uh, little nooks and crannies where information is hidden away and available on the internet and in many cases available for th free. So I would strongly recommend those publications to you. Now in terms of census substitutes in this presentation we will be providing a recap on the census records of Ireland through the 19th and the early 20th century which my colleague Gillian would have spoken to you about already. We will provide a recap on the surviving census fragments for the 19th century because remember not everything was burned or destroyed. We will be referring to copies of census record material that may be found elsewhere in other forms. So we're talking about sometimes material that was drawn from the census returns and are available to search for your ancestors. We are then going to go on and the main part of the presentation will discuss many of the main census substitutes for the 19th and the 18th centuries and we will also be referring to some other lesser known alternative sources that exist for these periods. Note um, this is just intended to be indicative. We, it's impossible to try to cover exhaustively all the census substitutes